Hi everyone, welcome to Moinless and in this video we'll have a look at the 5 mistakes figurine photographers make with screen background. Now having a screen background is convenient and it could make really great images. Finding a theme that match is easy, but finding one that makes it look realistic, not so. Especially when you're going for a scenery rather than an abstract background. Let's start off with the 5 mistakes in no particular order. Number one, exposure. This is when the subject and the background are exposed differently causing a mismatch. Not a problem for abstract background but it looks awkward when the background is a scenery. Number two, white balance. This is about the color. If the background is warm then the subject should match it. Likewise if the background is neutral color then the subject shouldn't be warm. Number 3. Lighting. This refers to the light sources, direction and intensity that's found in the scene. For example, this one. This is a classroom with uh, the light source being from the back. So ideally, the subject should match the background that has the light source from the back instead of having the lights from the front. So as you can see, I've placed two lights right behind the subject and it casts a rim light on, on her hair and now that makes it look realistic as if she's in the scene. Don't mind the picture because this picture is actually related to my fourth and fifth point. The fourth point would be perspective. This involves understanding the focal length of which is another topic for another day but basically what you need to know is that if you are using a telephoto range to photograph the subject but the background is flat, it will look unrealistic because the, the background will have the same characteristic towards from edge to edge, basically the whole scene. Ideally, the elements further away from the subject should be blurred out more than the one that's closer. But because the background is flat, it will have the same characteristic all the way and it looks unrealistic. And lastly, elevation and angle. Even if you got the perspective aspect nailed, there's also the matter of angle and elevation. The idea of using screen as a background to match a subject in the scene without you having to be at the scene itself is nice, but by failing this aspect, it would look bad. Elevation refers to the height of the camera, while angle refers to the angle which the camera is pointing. So if the background looks like the camera was taken on waist level and pointing straight, then shooting at the figure's head and pointing it upwards or downwards would make it a mismatch. Alright, so that's it for this video. The 5 common mistakes made when figure photographers attempt to use a screen as their background. That's all for now. Do remember to subscribe my channel if you haven't and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.